Going live now. We are live, huh? Uh, well, hope maybe in a second. Maybe in a second. Now we now we should be live. Yeah, going live. No. Now we should be hot live. So we got to gather up all of our diamond-handed hero clicks fans. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can. Jeez, something. For anyone that's not a, for anyone that's not aware, I am uh, been following the uh, GME to the moon very closely. <laughs> uh, sure, to the moon. That's what it's doing right now. No, it's right now. It's uh, it's uh, hold up like it's hold, hold. It's buy the dip. Buy the dip. That's true. If I had buy money to spend, I would maybe buy the dip, but the only dip I'm yeah, buying so... is Velveeta cheese dip. Yeah, I, I missed out on buying GME low, um, but hopefully, uh, hopefully they send Nokia to the moon here soon. And yeah, Jeff, we're, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. Leap Climb, TK... RCE, CCE, Perplex, all of that. Man, we already got six people watching. I mean, we're ready. There, people are ready. Seven. Yeah, we'll give it to the two minute mark. Thirty more seconds to see if more people want to hop on since we're sharing. People are eager, eager to hear how amazing or how terrible this rules one update the, was. One of the two, right? Yeah. One of the two. I mean. Spoiler alert, I think it's amazing. Yeah, I, well, I'm not going to give you my opinion. Don't want to ruin it. Hey, Brad. Well, Brad Boyle says hey. Well, I mean, I've already talked about that in the... True. All right, all right, let's go ahead and get it started. We hit the two-minute mark. We're up to 11 people. So, less is more. This sounds like one of those infomercials that you see late at night after your favorite show is off. And that's when you realize you've been staying up way too late because an infomercial is on. Uh, less is more. So today's topic for the Heroclix rules update is that they're changing some rules. Uh, changing specifically certain powers. Uh, it was five powers, I believe, is what they ultimately changed. And yeah. I'll drag it over here so we can view it all at once and go over what WizKid said. Um, so, uh, we're, we're going to kind of, if you want to read exactly what they said, feel free to go check out the page. Uh, it's got a lot of fun wording and insight into why they chose things. Um, but we're going to break it down exactly to what powers changed. That's what we're really going to talk about. So they changed leap climb. As you guys know, leap climb used to be where you could punch from elevation doesn't affect adjacency when you punch somebody with a close attack. And then you could give a move action, and you had all these improved movement abilities and a breakaway plus two. And it was just literally, you use it to move and break away, and then some hulks had the ability to quake after, but generally it was kind of one of those powers no one re was really excited about. You maybe used it once a year. Actually, they mentioned it here, people talked about twice a year, where you could punch out of adjacency, like elevation-wise. So... Um, I, I and typically could, just on a pick a power piece, right? Like, yeah, I mean, Jakeen picking like leap climb flurry and getting two attacks off that turn. Right. Yeah, I completely agree. So, um, oh, hey, Tyler's here. Yeah, I'm here. Hello. Uh, I had to finish the TFT game. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> um, yeah, I this is actually the only change I don't like is the leap climb one. Um, why? Well, because so if it's just a figure with just leap climb on their dial, this is just a direct nerf, right? Just worse. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, yes, mathematically speaking, it's a nerf. Yeah. Um. So I don't like that. And basically, the power at this point, they took away the only thing that made it unique. So it's literally just moving it or improved movements now, right? Right. So the Ooh. the new power reads. 
improved movement, elevated outdoor blocking, and then move through. And so I think which is going to be a new key phrase probably. Yeah. So we think, we, we move... have to we have to be a little bit hesitant to immediately grade it because we don't know how they're going to do. They mentioned new rules for breakaway and hindering, so we have to be a little bit uh, hesitant to be like, oh, this is garbage, because we yeah, don't think, know how move through will work yet. Well, I think move through is just going to, uh, and here's, I mean, here's my assumption, is that it's going to be a new version of circle circle with the arrow through it. Actually, they list move through up here. I guess that's always been the phrase because they listed up at the top of the power as oh, something yeah. already there. So I guess it's, oh, is it? yeah, I guess that's what the, uh, it was what it was called before. I never knew that. So no, I don't think any of it, I always just called it the circle circle yeah. arrow that allows you to break away, you know, move past people as long as you previously broke away. It's the same thing. Flight grants. Okay. Yeah. So it just gives improved movements now. So there's no reason for this to be a power anymore. It could literally just be improved movements. There's no well, no additional flavor text or anything to it, right? That, so, there could be there could be if you're thinking of comic accuracy or trying to make figures, as they mentioned in this thing, a slice of the 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 figure's life, like a, wow. at a specific event, there could be something where you could do where he has leap climb, and then you can say, well, he's damaged enough, he can no longer leap and climb. So, I, I could see from that point, uh, playing guess, wise, yeah. it doesn't make sense. But I, I, right. I get it. I guess that makes sense if you wanted to do that. It seems weird, though. I, I, I would rather just this be on, just get, remove the power at this point and give it a. Right. It's kind of like though, like it, it, it's a, it's a soft way. Here's the way I think of it. It's a kind of a soft way to hand out Earthbound. Yeah, kind of. So if, if you've got a boot figure, you give them charge and leap climb, or just even leap climb, right? Like if it's like if it's a guy that has a mech suit for the first part of his dial, and then he doesn't have a mech suit, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, he he has a mech suit for a little bit, and then uh, he doesn't, right? So it's a but he's a regular boot, right? So whatever yep. the new Earthbound is, so he just doesn't get that anymore unless they're removing earthbound then <laughs> that's what that, that does <laughs> yeah then it's one of those powers well, is now redundant <laughs> right well i mean it does so you try to see what i'm trying to say there right you know earthbound has other negatives potentially does it well, you lose uh, the like, you lose the uh the combat symbol you go to normal combat symbols which i guess doesn't matter now because willpower is gone like as far as right Indom. but there could be there could be new negatives to earthbound right and they don't want to give a regular boot guy those negatives of earthbound so you give him leap climb for the first part of his dial and then he goes down to just not having leap climb i'm getting yeah. the i'm getting the impression these are literally the only powers changing that was my impression too, and even if they change it, I just don't like the redundancy of it. We have the redundancy of a power that only gives out things that are improved movement. I just don't like that. No, yeah, I, I get it, Tyler. I, I don't. I don't disagree with you. I'm just trying to give some thought process into what they could be trying to do, because the standard power could just be charge, improve movement, right? And you could just give out the symbol, right? Yeah, I liked um, what they were doing before, where they could have just made it like, if you move four or less squares, make a close attack or something. If they've been doing special powers. Yeah. Right. So real quick, reading some comments, Brian uh, Gailey reminds us that uh, move through is the double circle line. Yep. We, I <laughs> had bad. no idea of that before. <laughs> uh, Jared, yeah, Brian, we Brian, we just had no idea that that was the official term for it. I always yeah. just called it circle, circle, arrow. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jeremy and Zach are watching us as we're doing this, by the way. Um, nice. J Jeremy wanted to mention that. Um, and then Brad mentions that he wishes Leap Climb was something like Charge and Phasing mm -hmm. Teleport was something like Running Shot, like a, a, a variant of it. And then lastly, uh, Dave David Herberger says, why have Leap Climb and Improved Movement? I, I think it's just we have to wait and see what WizKids does with this. They... Either they couldn't come up with another cool orange power for movement, 
or they have some plan to make this relevant or make it seem not as bad. Um, well, so, I mean, you, they got to change other powers because they have to change Earthbound. Do they? No, they didn't mention anywhere they have to change Earthbound. No, no, I'm just saying, y'all were saying that this is, you thinking this is the only powers that they're going to change. Mm-hmm. I think Earthbound has to change, right? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm looking at the pack here again. Real yeah, quick, I'm looking so... up to it. I think it. I mean, I, I don't uh, think I don't think it's going to be an inherent change. Like there, no. It's well, just so they it, can't it just... use. Yeah, it's just this character can't use movement or targeting ability, improved targeting abilities or willpower. That's it. So that's oh, actually man, that's going to like that's going to like that's a then uh, then Earthbound got a buff. Yeah, that's bigger because willpower actually means more now. So. Right. I mean, now the fit now the cos the power cosmic cosmic energy figures that have Earthbound are the same but like the old indomitable symbol fellas yeah they got a buff on their dial if right. earthbound if earthbound stays the same so i know we're only talking about earthbound here because of the climb but um now, I, I think i think it's i think it's a relevant discussion point right depending on if they change earthbound if there's something else going on there um, real quick, PJ mentions it's always circle, circle, arrow. Thanks, PJ. That's what Thank he you. said. Uh, yeah. Mark Morris has a question for us. Mark, we're going to actually talk about that near the end. So we'll talk about some speculation on the hindering changes. And then Brad says NCAP has to change too. NCAP actually still works. Because yeah, NCAP is just add a token, and if they have two, deal one penetrating. So it has nothing to do with pushing damage. It's just you miss out on them getting a second token and having to take pushing damage. But the wording on NCAP, I think, is actually perfectly fine. Like, nothing yeah. has to change with that. Yeah, the wording's right. totally fine. And um, actually, colossal figure, great size figures, are actually more susceptible to it now, because if you can NCAP them to get two tokens, they might not be able to act. They, they possibly can, but um, before right. NCAP did almost nothing to them, right? They made it have to maybe take the damage unless they're already on two tokens. Yeah. So that's the change to Leap Climb, um, and I even have that in the slide here. All it is is improved movement, elevated outdoor blocking, move through, which we now learn move through is a thing. <laughs> it's been a game turn, yeah, yeah, for two will. years. So uh, not fair, only fair not enough. only not only are we talking about new rules, but we're educating at the same time ourselves. <laughs> yeah, educating yeah. ourselves. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I've had no, I've never had any problem. Like, it's funny, like with leap climb or flight saying well it's the circle circle arrow you've got to break away and then you move normally around folks the same way or whatever (laughs) all right so let's go into tk so let me explain tk real quick this might take a minute so everyone knows how tk worked before you can make a ranged object attack with an object you can move an object you can move a friendly person or you can move an opposing character after you roll an attack so now they're taking like all of that away except for moving a friendly character and moving an object so the power is now mi- power minimum range value of six place one target friendly single base i don't know why they have target in there one uh, place one target friendly single base character or object within range and line of fire into another square within range of line of fire that character must be placed within six squares in line of fire from the target's current square. Characters placed with this power can't use TK this turn. So, basically, they're taking away the ability to attack with TK with the range object attack. They're taking away the ability to move an opposing character with TK. And the bigger one, the biggest one, I think, out of all this is that they're taking away the ability to TK your opponent's <coughs> objects. Because they specifically wow. say place one target. It's worded really bad. I don't think the word target is supposed to be there. Place no, you can still you can still move enemy objects. You just can't use them in object attacks. No, no, no. Because they mention above it by limiting TK to the first two options. They list five options: repositioning, and advancing their own characters, repositioning objects for the sake of their own characters, and repositioning objects to keep them away from opposing characters well they they're taking away all the other op- options it's just those first so, two so, so I, I think i assume I think it's, you can only do your own objects but it's worded yeah, kind of poorly 
I agree. Yeah, like I think I think the I think either they'll have to answer on the win that they mean friendly objects, or just put the word friendly object there. Now this gets into where you need an English degree sometimes to play clicks, <laughs> um, but you know I think either way it's fine. Yeah, I think um, I'm I'm the, reading it where you were you were TKing it, you were TKing the object to destroy it right before, Most right? If, yeah, it, it, the vast majority, right? Yeah. Um, so if you could st- if you can place it, that adds some utility. But if you can't place opposing objects, you know, I I I'd like it the way it is either way. It's a little more spicy if I can place um, opponents objects, but. Yeah, you know. Now, Brian Gailey does say new TK is just friendly objects by his reading. Okay. So he's he's also in agreement. I think it's it's the way they phrased the article made it seem like, hey, you can move objects to keep them away from opposing. And I know, uh, Brian, it's not an official ruling or anything. It's just his opinion. So don't take yeah. that as official. Um, I read it that way, too. Like, because of the way they phrased the article, they were saying, hey, you used to be able to move objects to keep them away from opposing. Well, we're taking that away. We literally yeah. wanted to move characters or move your own stuff. Based on the yeah. the wording, I don't think it's super clear, but based on what they said their intent, like you said, it, it probably yeah, I mean, just it, it feels like, you know, they don't want to add the word. They wouldn't want to add the word friendly in front of the word object. I guess. Because because of the way it reads, but I mean it's just fine to put it in there. Redundancy <laughs> is fine in this situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, so talking a little bit about what gets buffed because we didn't want to talk about leap climb because it's just a general nerf. So there's not really a oh I even I took the time to actually look up hey what characters are nerfed by leap climb. It really is just there's no one relying on leap climb like even. <laughs> Like, even the hulks that could do it afterwards, well, this change doesn't affect that except for maybe the breakaway. But even then, that's not that big of a deal. Like, And they're going to discuss that. Yeah, so it's it's one that I didn't want to make a slide for. Uh, so TK, I wrote down some buffs and some nerfs. The buffs are mostly, I think, to objects. Um, yep. Heavy <laughs> objects, like the Goblin Glider and the Doc Ock arms, because no one could go pick you, you don't really have someone able to run with super strength to go pick them up and steal them. Right. Assume uh, now. Can we just go ahead before we talk about buffs real quick? Mm-hmm. Uh, we have to make the assumption that object picking up lights and heavy stays the same. Right. I, yeah. We are we are making that assumption here in this discussion. We have nothing to le- to be- make us believe that that changes currently. Right. Right. So we have to we're we're making that <laughs> assumption in a little bit of a vacuum here. Yeah, um, I added the gauntlets on here only because it, the the chance of losing your object has gone down significantly. I feel like, yeah, you no sure. longer it's have, to kill an object. yeah, you don't have the TKs to run out there and steal it. Now you that doesn't mean it's not possible. I list two main perpetrators that could pull this off rather easy with the TK, and that's Mary Jane Watson and Maggot. Both can do it incredibly easy. Um, but they're not on every team. But they also get a buff by this because they are one of the few pieces that could go out and do it relatively easy. Yep. Um, so they're the main ones. Now, you can argue all the objects could probably be on here, which I feel is great. I always There's so many equipment I feel like should see more play. It's just they're too risky because someone could steal it or someone could just blow it up and you're... Like, when they made that ruling that you could just make a TK object attack with an object to no one, and it gets destroyed, I wasn't super thrilled about that, because I, I always thought, well, that I don't like my team being ineffective immediately turn one by a mass majority of people when it's a major mechanic, if that makes sense. Like, Yeah, I'm with you. Um. Are there any other buffs that you guys could think of? Any other figures that get kind of a benefit? Maybe the TK is better for them. Uh, I feel like figures that use TK, this is a nerf to them generally. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely a TK nerf. I, there's nothing in it that actually buffs it. I don't think. Um, yeah, buffs wise. Right it's... now, now I want to go ahead and say the buff is that it actually. 
this is the one power where it actually meets their stated goal of making this easier to new players. True. I agree with uh, that. TK, T, T, well, uh, uh, most of them do, right? But a lot of them weren't that hard to understand. Sure. TK right. is definitely, the mo- was the most complicated power. Right. Sure. I'll, go, I'll go ahead and go back to 2017 when we previewed Unimine. Uh, anything that has that much text has got to be good. And Unimind was really good, but he was also really hard to understand for a lot of players. <laughs> yeah. Right? Same thing here. TK is really good, really nuanced, but it was very hard to understand for a lot of players. It required a lot of uh, rules forum updates, right? Where, you know, when Gene Gray was TK and object, TK and herself, and TK and other people, and, you know... Uh, we're in better shape now. Yeah, yeah and I, the the uh, the wording of TK, the actual TK part, I don't think changed. So, like as far as well, it did um, for objects because you you it has to be within six of the true. object now. It didn't used to. Yeah, um, but as far as placing characters, I mean, it's oh, think... you can't uh, you can't. Oh, that's right, because you're not attacking with the object. You can't yeet the object. Well, yeah, you used to you used to effectively be able to move an object like 13 squares, even with six range, because you would grab it from six away and then place it six away behind you. You can't do that anymore. You can only move it six squares. Oh, that's right. So that's a little bit of a nerve. Uh, that that that's a pretty big one. Yeah, for sure. But. But it's good. It brings it because it was weird that you could move an object that like that, but you could only move a character six squares. So it was weird in the old rules. So well, are you talking about a TKer is moving at thirteen squares? Yeah, they used yeah. to be able to because it used to be it, it used to read you pick up an object and then you place it within six squares. I don't think that part has changed because it just says you place it in a square. That square must be placed within six squares from the target's current. Oh, I guess you're saying because yeah, the, the TKer has to one. target. The object. I get it now. No, it's yeah. The target's current square. The target would be the object. The object. I get it now. I follow. Yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a big change. Yeah, because you. That's what we were doing before the old ruling. Right. We were grabbing the awk arms, you know, like ten squares away and, and moving it to the and and then TKing it to the back, mm-hmm. ha, the back row of the map, so Vulture couldn't get to his awk arms. Right, and now right. you can only move a six squares total. Yeah, yeah. Um, some nerfs. There are some notable ones. Uh, everyone's favorite figure, North. Clearly, Pute. it is a nerf. It's still like, he's still good because you can take yourself back, but it's definitely a nerf still. Yeah, it, it's a nerf because he can't object attack after doing it or something like that. Uh, big nerf to Cable, unfortunately. Um, the Cable teams were doing the whole Krakoa thing and popping over and then throwing objects at you until you die. Um, but they can no longer do that. Um, unless they... Now, this is also... Unless WizKids comes back and makes some sort of like, hey, they can use the 2017 TK rules. Um, which they could do. No, that. I mean, but, but, they, but, but the, the Cable clones... I don't think it's, it's only... It's, it's only the ones that, I mean, the the only ones that need to be reworded are the ones that specifically interacted with TK objects, like right. the Reality Gym. And, um, I put a, a, um, Ebony Maw is one of those. Yeah. He was the one that he gets plus attack and damage. When he does that, right. Right. And I agree, those are the ones that need, probably need to say something there was one person like static uh static shocker statics yeah he's one that still actually works i think technically by the way he's worded uh his power reads where did he go let me type in just static um oh his reads tk is free but only to pick up an object and then be given a ranged object action so like, mm. that kind of works. I'm not sure because that used to be the old ruling: is TK would let you pick up an object and then make a range combat action. So it's sort of tied to the old TK. I'm right. not sure. Yeah. And you know what? And maybe the reality gem doesn't get fixed. Yeah, I, I'm not even sure anything gets fixed. Like, I don't think Ebony Maw is going to get an errata. I think it just sucks to suck at this point. This is my. I don't think they're going to 
making a uh, blanket around on, on any of this. I, I, maybe it, w- it won't be blanket, but I think that it will be. Um, I think they might change some stuff around on specific figures. It all depends, right, on retirement because they could just retire ABPI and say sucks to suck. Uh-huh. Um, but now the reality, Jim, for what it's worth, the reality this change fixes the loophole with the reality, Jim. Was uh, there a loophole? The the one you could just keep going if you got lucky. Right, That's not a loophole. That's just a mechanic. Well, I I understand that. Um. <laughs> But there was a lot of there was several teams that kind of exploited that, especially in Golden Age. Um, so when this character hits, if the attack was 10, 10 or higher, you may generate a heavy object. Okay, there's your heavy, and then you can use TK at no cost. All right, you eat yourself out of there. You're done repeating the thing. Yeah. So maybe they change it. Maybe they don't. I don't think that specifically it needs a change. It's a pretty big nerf to the reality gym. Right. As far as its current effectiveness, but it may not get fit. Um, Click stop zone. Jason Alvey mentions Star Girl is one that would need an update. <coughs> she actually yeah. lets you after you hit. You can she can use TK at no cost, but only to target a hit character and modifies her attack plus three. So yeah, that's, that's, that's a good one. So it's like it literally just doesn't work. You can't. So she them. she's legal after rotation mm-hmm. if it happens again. Um, so she might need, uh, she might get fixed to do something else. Potentially. Uh, Jason Labandiera, um, unfortunately Golden Age, uh, he doesn't say this, but unfortunately Golden Age is not on WizKids' uh, radar because he mentions that old Age of Apocalypse Magneto is basically hosed. (laughs) Because his whole thing was throwing those scraps and hitting people with it. They'll do that, right? No. Why? He just destroys on destroys and then he can make two free Oh yeah, he can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is All it right. not is it not a TK thing? I don't think so. I'm gonna look it up real quick. We don't generally care about this, but uh give him a free action and make that wrong. many o- it's object attacks, so he should be fine. Object attacks are fine, yeah. That's uh, basically now, GS x magneto i think definitely got the hit maybe that's what he said yeah, old aoa so maybe that's what he was meaning is that an age of apocalypse figure or no the 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 aoa magneto is the object attacking one and he's okay the gsx one um he used tk option three which so that was probably he was probably done a long time ago anyways <laughs> um but now Hey, now that I was say not for a discussion today, you know GSX Magneto would be a really cool one to get a legacy card for. <laughs> True. Yes, True. and and that actually brings up a good point. If we get any questions about legacy cards, future foundation, we are planning on doing an episode about that coming up soon to talk about the the reveals we saw over the weekend and the Scott Porter stuff. So any questions you have about that, table it because we're going to talk about it. And we'll have an, a question thread. Because goodness knows there is a lot to take away from Future Foundation. <laughs> My gosh, and, yeah, we have an, we have another potential two to three hour episode just talking about what we saw for Future <laughs> Foundation this weekend. So and we and we could stuff. and we could sit here and speculate about legacy cards because that could be thrilling. But let's move on. Um, the only other nurse I mentioned for TK are the ones that go and steal objects, and that's Onslaught. He usually just moves across the board and TKs an object away. And then Phoenix was much better as a call-in, but she could still see play with X-Men. She's no longer as good if you... She can't do it as well as any anyway now, but I'm thinking more of ID call-ins. Right. Um, so let's move on to the, um, I guess, better changes. Those first two were kind of mad. These next two, or next three, I, I love... Yes. So, called the happy, the happy changes, the happier changes. The happy, the happy ending changes. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh uh, well, the I'm just meant purely the changes at the end <laughs> of the article. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. 
So basically, they they finally acknowledged that close combat expert and range combat expert are kind of garbage because the, you can't use them with charge or anything like that. It's a power action to do it. You're kind of you have to get close to them and then next turn do it. It was still a good power when that happened um, because you could decide between the one and one or the two damage or whatever or two attack, but they just didn't like how it felt especially with perplex being so prominent so they have changed range combat expert to be this character modifies attack plus one and damage plus one when making a ranged attack or using range destroy and it is now just a constant so as long as this power is showing you get plus one attack and damage when you're making a ranged attack or range destroy uh same for close combat expert it's just for a close attack so uh static just pure static. It's basically two free perplexes into attack and damage when you're making those kind of attacks. What do you guys think about that? Um, it kind of brought it in line a little bit with the original range combat because it used to just do uh, plus two to damage as a power action. Um, you didn't get a pick at all. So the static part of it at least brings it a little bit back to that. Um, so I would say we, we are assuming that it'll work at this point, we are assuming that it'll work with Psy Blast and yeah, everything. Precision. There's, there's yeah, nothing movement. to suggest otherwise. Mm. Yeah, exploit, exploit weakness, and right, and that sort of thing. So that's triple the, target. Yes, yeah, all those things, right? Um, so this is very uh, exciting. This is yeah, yeah. oh hell yeah! <laughs> uh, can we, we just go ahead? We got it mentioned a bunch already, right? Power so, Gym. So right. let, let's start with let's start with close combat expert because that's the slide I have up. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. No, no, it's cool. <laughs> I, I literally just put it up. So, what figures are we excited about that got close combat expert? I, I think this may bring some of the tent poles we even talked about that were just bad. Oh, getting you have the my pick here already. <laughs> Say what? You have my pick here already. Uh, good. What is your pick, Tyler? <laughs> I liked, um, this is a huge buff to Absorbing Man. Ah, oh, like I was going to say that too. Yeah, because you can pick the blocking one. It gives you improved target blocking and a constant plus two to defense. So he's at a 19. And then he's at, what, like a tw 12 for five now? With the close combat expert constant? Yeah. Like, I, he's, he's he got a lot better. <laughs> for 100 points, like, the stats you get for him, he's just a brick now. I really like that. Yep, <laughs> it's. I've always liked this absorbing man. I wish he was. You know, hundred points isn't bad, and I, but I think he has the the flexibility. The problem was is that he starts with a seventeen defense, and so you're like, all right, well, I guess I'm gonna be stuck picking the blocking terrain, because that's what I gotta go with, because <laughs> he's got a seventeen. But yep. if I could do that and still get a plus one to attack and damage then he's great because he could just charge away for 12 for 5 and who's, and who's still have a 19 defense. To, who's the guy next to Super Scroll? The uh, the kid? The the dude with the glasses? Yeah. That's Robbie Reed. Oh, my God. <laughs> we don't. We're, I thought we agreed to not remind people that Robbie Reed existed so no one plays him ever. What are you talking about, Robbie <laughs> no, no, Reed? No, that was the inner circle agreement at last week's meeting. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Robbie Reed with his activation yeah, the style. flick? Oh, true. It's okay. He'll yeah. be fine. Right. <laughs> we'll see. Right. You know what? Uh, Robbie Reed is still good. You should play six of them so you can just roll dice and annoy your opponent to death. <laughs> is there a way to give him willpower? Because I'd like to do that too, so that way I roll more dice. <laughs> Willpower, H dial. Um, I put I I put it maybe because I just feel bad for the dude. The chase nobody wanted. Star brand. Star brand. He did get better. Like he's pretty solid. Um, <laughs> that's the one that uh, you pulled. Start. And you're like, man, star brand. Out of any other chase. Now. I don't even think he's selling. <laughs> yeah, but he's now a thirteen for five. Hey, yeah. I mean those are good stats. I'll give a I'll give a comprehensive opinion on my boy a little bit later. Jay Sands and act asked about him. <laughs> um, the more realistic picks, um, Super Scroll obviously got better because of 
being able to choose the thing and now you got impervious plus one attack plus one damage from the close combat expert and charge yep. so and he can get giant reach six or whatever it is four six yeah it's, four yeah it's super it's solid numbers. he does he doesn't need the perplexes anymore um, not right. that he can use it um then we got robot superman he's yep. real good because he now did he get better yeah because he has close combat expert he's only 10 points i think right yeah, but he has... Sidestep. So it, it, he didn't get better. He didn't get... No, that Superman didn't technically get better. Yeah, you, you could uh, argue now, that. Now, my thing, right? Here's my I thing. Think here's my thing. He, well, and here's my thing about objects, uh -huh. right? So now that Superman is 11 for 4, mm -hmm. right, when he's punching. He could be 10 for 5, right? right. But he couldn't... Uh, right, I'm, I'm going with the damage side here, right? Sure, sure. Now, he's 11 for 4 when he's punching. Mm -hmm. And if he picks up a light, he's 11 for 5. Now, before, if he picked up a light, he would only be 10 for 4. So now, he's 11 for 5 with an object, assuming objects stay the same. That's why I'm tickling in the back of my head that light objects might be getting a change. I don't know that. I have I have no freaking clue, sure. right? But but that's what gets in my head, right? Because so if you ask me, did did the Superman get better? Yes, I think he got better. Assuming lights stay the same, because now that stat eleven for five for ten points is nuts. Yeah, I, and that, I think that's one that's one specific situation. Right, but obviously, because ten for five for ten points is also awesome, right? Yeah. I think you got awesome in a different way. Yeah, I'm with Tyler. It's a borderline plus, if anything. Uh, the bigger pluses are for the bottom two. Mongol, he's one I always wish worked, but once again, he this. I mean, this bumps him up to a thirteen for five. So, and he's got um, charge. So. He's not yeah, bad. Option is good. Yeah. yeah, but the main ones that benefit from this power is one, the giant object in the center, which is the power <laughs> gem. But also, Spider Man actually gets a pretty big buff from this. And Micron gets kind of a buff. He he would either use Close Combat Expert anyway, but he also charges an attack. So this is actually yeah. kind of a, a buff for him. Yeah, I would say it's definitely a buff for him. Uh, his range is really far now because he goes colossal. Yeah. Um, right, so he can go colossal B twelve four, right? Right, yep. and then charge like I think his nine movement, and then attack for three away. So like, yeah, it's really good. Yeah. yeah, but you know what? A lot of the time, right? To me, the static plus one plus one, right? So if he just stands there and attacks, mm -hmm. I think that man, everybody's going to argue, but I think like a lot of times when you did it. You were just going plus one, plus one, anyways. I, I would uh, probably the majority of the time I would agree with that. Um, either that, or sometimes it just didn't matter because you had like three perplexes anyway. So it didn't really matter how you arranged them. You, you were still going to be fourteen for six or whatever it was. Well, like if I use my boy Uni as an example, right? He was doing plus two, plus two, right? So I, <coughs> I had to go. I had to go one and one with my close combat expert. Right. Yeah. Um. But. <sighs> I, think... I mean, I mean, man, we're we're talking about the difference between, you know, five damage on this guy, and I don't know. Micron did get a huge buff because he also has the empower and enhancement that we'll talk about here in a few right. minutes. So I, I'm going to say overall buff to the big guy, to the little guy, big guy, depending on his free <laughs> yeah, action. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, think less of like don't get stuck on the plus one plus one that's not the main benefit the main benefit is that close combat expert essentially now works with movement powers and you can charge hypersonic oh, yeah. all of that stuff sure. still works yeah sure no i i'm, I'm with you there right I, I'm, I'm getting it right but a lot of people did like to say i want to go all the damage right and try to yolo yeah and, um, and they nah. even mentioned that in the article that it was awesome moments, but more often than not, it led to not so awesome moments. <laughs> yeah. But right now, I also want to be clear that it it, it did buff characters um, that have the the two powers and like no damage or minimal damage, right? Because they can also use it during ranged or close destroy actions. 
Yeah. Yes. That's not that's not insignificant. No, it's definitely. I'm glad that they added that for sure. Um, yeah. It's cool. Yeah, cause, uh, because if there's if there's a situation where it's like I'm burying and now you didn't have enough damage to blow down a wall, well maybe maybe you do now. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna throw in a honorable mention. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I like the the Prime Punisher. Um, from I don't even remember what set he's from. Fantastic Four. Cat. Uh, yes. Is he okay? Yeah. Uh, just because he he's he has traded um, colossal stamina and he starts with charge flurry, um, so it works with all of that now. Um, so instead of charging flurrying for eleven for four, he's doing it for twelve for five. So he gets the plus one plus one on both attacks, um, and then he gets hypersonic speed later on in the dial, which it works with. Um, Wait, but he has... the prime punisher is pro combat expert colossal stamina and giant reach two. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And, oh, that's right, because you can't bring in this guy for Punisher War Machine. Right, so yeah, no one ever plays fires. this one. <laughs> yeah, oh, but I, I think like... very, he's solid, um, and he does penetrating damage if they have two tokens, like two, like twelve or five penetrating. Uh, <coughs> oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. It, like I this guy's dishing out a ton. Of, it just everything works for this guy. Like he has everything, oh, all of his power see. sets benefits from this change. So. That's right, and then at 75, he's going 11, 12, sorry, 12-4 12, 12, four with, with penetrating and giant reach. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I, I, ooh, that's a little bit more than an honorable mention. That might bring him to, like, <laughs> Yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm about to, uh, yeah, there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, at 125, does he might be enough to mention on the tenfold game. Yeah, I mean he's he he does a lot of damage now. It it was a substantial buff to him. Yeah, that's true. What twelve <laughs> five, charge flurry, giant reach. So he's going five six. Oh gosh, that's a big uh, that's uh-huh. a big honorable mention, my man. Uh-huh. I can yeah, dig it. Good. He is a prime slot though, so but he's got decent decent uh, keywords. All right, let's start with invincible. <laughs> All right, let's break out some uh, range combat expert. Tyler, do you want to go first with your boy? My boy. The Do one, I have a boy? The one that you've mentioned only like everywhere. Hold on. Who benefits I'm... from range combat expert? That's in the house of X. Oh, Chode! Dude, my man Chode, right? That's what I'm talking about? <laughs> yes. Not only does he have running shot range combat expert, later in the dial he gets charged close combat expert. I put Boom. him I put I put him on here specifically for you. <laughs> it's the Chode meta. <laughs> now I am reminded um, <coughs> by David Herberger of S- the Scarface object. I forgot that one also gives out RCE. Oh, true. Forgot um, about that. So I hate that object, but true. True. You put Robbie Reed again. again. <laughs> I put Robbie Reed again. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh because he can he gets to pick. If you roll the age dial, he can pick <laughs> range combat expert or close combat expert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we always um, I put Fancy Dan. <laughs> Because yeah, he's another one people don't think about. Um, oh, the Enforcer fellas. Yeah. Yep. There, there's Paul, something to have it, right? Dragon Man, I think. Is that one? Paul and Jesse Cote are uh, are having a blast toys right now. They love those Enforcer. Uh, Dragon Man does not have... He gets close combat expert later, but he is an Enforcer. I thought there was an Enforcer. Hold on. Uh, Hammerhead has... Uh, 10 for 3, so it would be 11 for 4. Yeah, so that's 30 points. Fancy Dan, you've got not Montana, not Ox, <laughs> none of these people. Uh, okay. And we're talking the uncommon Fancy Dan here. I'll pull him up so you can see what he looks like. For those who forget, Fancy Dan is a thing. Uh, Fancy Dan, 30 points. He'll be 11 for 3, but he's only 30 points. Um, and then he has... Hammerhead looks pretty good, yeah. Choo- uh, power, choose two other friendly characters within range with the enforcer <coughs> keywords. This turn, those characters have free make an attack. So you could just yep. play ten of these, right? Is that a thing you could just do? Um, yes. Or you could use um, Hammerhead with a couple of them and send those guys out. Just a bunch of fancy Dan's. Fancy Dan's. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the buff is like everyone that can use the power, right? No. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I also put on there the bigger one that probably actually has meta relevance 
is Danger Run Magneto. Um, it does bump his probably head, probably well the damage doesn't I mean it helps in rare <coughs> instances. Um, no, it helps him in every instance. He just ha- he just has plus one attack now, right? Yeah, I mean the damage he doesn't deal so, five damage, but, uh, so but you have two he, targets, so sure you can. Spl- yeah, spread he does. He does because like it gives him the ability to like get through invincible a little better, uh, I guess. a Not little really. bit better. Well, it just depends. He could get through yeah. two invincibles with an enhancement now. Yeah, but it, it's really just the attack, which is good, and you can use it with both of his with two targets now. So that's amazing. Yeah. Well, that... it's also maybe a good reason to give him the reality gem or something mm-hmm. that bumps up his number of targets too. Yep. Yeah, his, his main thing was you really rely on that 12 attack for a while because it's just so solid. And then you drop it to click 2 and he drops down to an 11 and you're like, eh, this isn't as good. Yeah. It, 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 like that one attack for whatever reason just makes you feel bad. And yeah, so, it's a big difference. Yeah, so now starting with a 13 and dropping to 12 and he doesn't go lower than 11, that's awesome. Like that's well, he he four, clicks four and five. He doesn't have range combat expert, but he doesn't drop below a twelve for his first three clicks. Is pretty <coughs> pretty good, yeah. pretty good. Agreed. All right, let's talk about perplex. So uh, some of the changes to perplex before we uh, we talk about it. So perplex, free minimal God, range man. value six. Choose a target within range of line of fire. Modify one of that character's combat values other than damage. Plus one or minus one until your next turn. So this is no ups, no ups or downs or whatever you say. What no ifs or buts. This is a nerf to perplex. Period. Mm-hmm. But it is a buff to everything else. Well, the bu- other damage modifiers. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. It's a buff to design designing mm-hmm. figures. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't. I feel like most people like this change. There are some people that don't, obviously, because. Some people just don't like change, but I think it, um, I think it adds a strategic element to placement um, because they're talking about they they yeah they don't talk about oh you don't like the big six damage shot right mm. well I mean shit you can still get the six damage shot off right you just got to think a little bit harder about it other than getting big Tony and being like perplex damage <laughs> perplex damage perplex damage yeah you know, just like, well, let, let, it requires a little more setup <laughs> it's easy enough to do. Right for the vast majority of players, I believe. Um, so you, I mean, like now, I would say we can't use the uni standard anymore, um, but pretty dang close, right? We can just call it the six damage, right? Yeah. Like, can this guy take a six damage shot, right? Because you know, there's a lot of low damage. There's a lot of low pointed perplex, but there's also a lot of low pointed enhancement. Mm-hmm. You just gotta be more uh, maybe creative, not. right? Oh no, we have to be more <coughs> creative with our game that we inspire creativity with. Dang. Like, take for example, Adam Friedman's team. He used Jason Weingard and Vulture, and then a bunch of other stuff. Well, with just Perplex, that benefits whichever avenue you go down. Whether you go more close combat with Vulture, and then you send out some maybe long range Pogs. Um, you could just use perplex and go to either but now you have to say all right well if i'm gonna you know either have to throw in power with vulture or am i going more into supporting long range like you actually have to make a decision now than doing a hey i'm just gonna throw everything because i have like four perplexes and i could just you know right. go around it now you still perplex can perplex attack movement range defense that doesn't change it's just damage that's a big one and that's why right. i have the nerfs up here um, the ones I have listed are obviously Vulture is the probably arguably the biggest one that takes a nerf from this. Um, yeah. Barclay is another one because he just gets a bunch of buffs. He's still good. It's just he doesn't get good. insanely good. And then I put Doppelganger because I couldn't. He's kind of Vulture light, so <laughs> sure. he also takes a little bit of a, a, a nerf with this. But it, I Me. I have mentioned multiple times that I thought this should happen because it just doesn't i've loved perplex for so long but and we mentioned this kind of in our click stuff uh, group chat like i feel like we have just gotten so accustomed to this game being so crazy 
that's why we're so hesitant for some of these changes when we don't realize like we're missing out on all these figures because perplex is so cheap and so good so that's right we could that's get right. some really cool theme team figures like oh man we got a great avenger team where they just play off each other within three squares or whatever but ah well i could just play a 20 point 25 point perplex perplex piece and i've got all this flexibility now so why yeah, play this right. team <laughs> like that happens yeah. i feel like every set we're like this isn't good because well it's the same thing with willpower right like Willpower is going to open up so many different pieces, and the same thing with this perplex change, right? I, I'm all about being able to use more of my collection than before. Yeah, like Prime uh, Punisher, right? Boom! <laughs> this change has already got him up there. Um, and he, yeah. he's got Power Cosmic too, so he can remove Roll every from turn. Himself. And he has Colossal Stamina, so he gets to double dip there because they didn't change it correctly, in my opinion. <laughs> okay, we don't oh need to go God. back to that. <laughs> well, either oh way, he, he got buffed twice in both of these changes. So he's got no, like he's got four He got buffed three times. Did he? Okay. Well, he got a uh, Colossal Stamina staying the same. Mm -hmm. uh, Power Cosmic. Right. And now it's Close Combat Expert. Uh-huh. I'm three. saying he got he got buffed twice both both changes. So the willpower one he got buffed twice on, and this one he got buffed twice on because he can use it with um, charge yeah. and flurry. Now uh, Brad does mention that you could perplex a vulture speed and then bring Marvella or another empower piece with him. Um, yeah, I'm I'm not we're I don't think we're saying vulture's bad. No, I'm not saying vulture's no, bad. No, not at all. It's just he's not just <laughs> an easy play now. I feel like he's been e fairly easy because you can fit 50 points and you probably already have a ton of perplex on a team now you have to be a little bit more creative <coughs> or just roll with the fact that he's only doing three damage right now so the three damage is still relevant the three the three damage is still relevant yes because stops, wendigos um was dark phoenixes dr fates things like that yeah yeah correct yes so as of as of today right so it stops a lot of the big swarmy things that some of us would like to play. <laughs> um, but it is enough of a nerf because Vulture did need four damage in a lot of situations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he yeah. used to be able to just take out your Colossal Retail, and then he's got so many flurries saved up that no matter what tent pole you're playing... Unless you roll out of a shape change, he's just going to slowly eat through you for 50 points. And now it's like, That's ah, right. he's got to try a little yeah. harder. Because if you've yeah, got... it's definitely a substantial nerf. It's just, he's still, he's still good. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's, not, it's not enough of a nerf yet. Yeah, because if you've got know. Invuln, now he's only doing one damage to you. Unless he gets some other damage buff. Yeah. So now it's like, okay, you've actually got to work. As opposed to jumping up to six damage and just dealing four to me. Every single time right. you attack Well, me. like, like you talk about, like we talked about, um, I don't want to say the word so we don't get, we don't get, uh, flagged by Facebook or YouTube or whatever. The, the world champ piece, um, that produces the pog, um, from the last set, uh, he, it takes four damage to one shot him. Well, why so now... I think I said uh, it earlier, so I don't. Well, think I'm just trying. Time. I'm just trying to avoid it, just in case. <laughs> okay. Um, we all kind of know. You said it earlier, Alex. The one you mentioned earlier. Um, so it takes four damage to kill that piece, right? Well, you're flurrying it. This one, right? And here. then he now now he has two chances to roll out on his super senses. Um, it was only three damage, so it's subtle, and it can be worked around. You know, and, and someone that probably like, you know, like Adam or whatever is figuring it out. So, but it is, it is a, it is a big enough change to Vulture. But here's the thing. The thing, the rules come out in May. He might retire in the June. So may not even be that big a deal. True. Now, uh, Mark, if, if, if you want, you guys want to feel a little better. Mark Morris did just say, you guys have a legit turned me on perplex. It was the one change I wasn't on board with today. You gents make good points. It's nice yeah, to hear no, that we, we make good points. Well, you're welcome, Mark. Mark, yeah, you're welcome always... to the stream anytime. Yeah. Right. And I was talking to somebody on Facebook, and it's just it makes sense because 
no matter what your goal was, you always reach for perplex before. You know, if you want to do a bunch of damage, you're reaching for perplex. You want to buff your defense up a ton, you're reaching for perplex. You want to make it so you don't miss, you're reaching for perplex and prob. Um, so this just means if if you want to specifically do damage, you're not always reaching for perplex. Uh, so it, it just it, it elevates powers that weren't used before, and then it just brings perplex a little bit down in line. It's still a, gr a great power. Everybody's going to use perplex still. Um, it's just not the be-all, end-all. Yeah, and I think <coughs> one last thing to take away from it is, um, and I forget who mentioned it, I'm sorry, you said it like way back before, um, it is one of those powers that's being temporarily removed mm -hmm. in Wonder Woman, and I now that I see what they've done to it, and now that I'm, I've seen some of people's reaction, not the ones that don't agree with us, it's making me think like we've become too reliant on Perplex to make things work. And maybe it's good that they're temporarily removing it to allow us time to like, adjust, to adjust and be like, hey, you don't have that anymore. So you're mm -hmm. going to have to use Empower Enhancement, and then we'll bring it back. It's like we're an alcoholic, and yeah. <laughs> they're cutting us dry, and yeah. you got to wait till you're sober for a while before you can even have a drink again. And I don't now... think that, that's how... That's not how they yeah, work. They don't try to let get you a drink again. But you know what I mean. Yeah, Bad that's analogy. Not how AA, that's not how AA works. <laughs> um, now, I would say this, right? The only thing was is that, man, I think they probably should have, like, divvied up this article a little bit and maybe, like, fed it into some of that to some of the other days. Maybe. But then again, maybe the, maybe the last few days here will all be, like, really good maybe they just came out right and just shanked everybody in the chest and now they're like hey here you go now well, you're gonna feel better maybe maybe they started maybe they did the whole bad news first then followed up by good news um I, from a lot of the discussions right i mean today was a was probably a whole lot less comments on facebook than yeah. some of the other days right because there was multiple threads with 100 plus comments by now already <laughs> and I didn't. I didn't see quite that many today. Yeah, I didn't either. I so this this has been my favorite change so far for sure, hands down. It's got me excited. I I poured through almost every modern figure like today, just looking at the new combinations that we can do with um, Robbie Reed. Yes, <laughs> he was up on my search. I did not add him to my <laughs> list. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's it's just it, it change again just changes the whole dynamic of everything. You have to look at new pieces that were previously not looked at before, new combos. I my favorite thing is Power Gym and like what it can do and how good it combos with some pieces. Um nope. it's crazy. It, I, I it jumps up it jumps up to probably top five on right now. Yeah, for sure. And it's so exciting. Um I real quick one thing to piggyback off of what Dan said I think the reason they didn't split this up is because these are the only powers they're changing I'm going to kind That's of reiterate I so like I think they were just like hey here's the powers we're greatly changing now that doesn't mean they won't make some minor changes like if they're getting rid of some phrases like certain like if they're getting rid of no cost which we kind of hope they do, or rephrase some things. They might change up some powers a little bit, but they inherently still work the same. Yeah, it's like, just the refreshing. These yeah, are so, ones that they've completely uh -huh. just changed. Right. So, like, we know Breakaway is changing in some way. They mentioned in the article. So, Hypersonic's probably going to need some sort of words change. Yeah. Um, just because it gives Breakaway. So we'll see how that goes. But um, I kind of just want to go through a few of these figures. I'm very excited about it. Can go I do that it. for a second? Okay. Go for it. Um, one of the biggest ones was um, Chase Captain Marvel. Like the one that people thought was kind of good. The 150 point one, you know? From the movie set? or Yeah, what? from the movie set. She is so insanely good with the power gem. It's nuts. Um, <clears throat> so she has um, her, her movement power. Improve, or improved movement characters is just, just good. Um, then she has running shot. When she uses it, after a resolution, she can use charge at no cost. Um, so she's swinging on both of those, charge and running shot and charge. She's 12 for 6 on both of those. 
Um, every time she uses that, um, whenever she goes to her um, stop click, or not not stop click, the, the weird click at the end, um, she has the hypersonic. Super, the super char- supercharged. Right. She has hypersonic and pulse wave on that click, and it works with both of those now. So she's going to be a 13 for 7 on that click, which is insane. Um, she's got 20 defense, just colossal stamina still, so you can, you're still going to be able to use that. Um, receive... I think that's it, yeah. Why did you um, say 13 for 7? Oh, the power. Yeah, I forget the power gem gives a plus 1 anyway. I keep power. forgetting that. <coughs> yeah, she's right. going to be 13 you, for 7. Would you like to know a crazy thing that I, I, I don't... You wouldn't be able to do, but I think would be cool if you could. Go ahead. I know. It's, it's on this Captain Marvel, Tyler. Okay, okay. I would like to see <coughs> ego, ego, power, and soul on her. <laughs> oh, my God. Because um, you could do that. Because you could do you that. Definitely can. Yeah. Funny you mentioned that <laughs> because Spencer White actually says, "Does Ultra Chase Thanos come back into the tempo conversation with Ego and Power Gem? He will be one of the few things that can hit for seven without positioning for empower and enhancement." Oh Wait, boy, that's a. Uh, ooh, Spencer, you talking about? about you talking about? <laughs> oh, because he could do Ego. He and starts soul. with ego, and ooh, <laughs> ooh, um, I'm not even faking this, boys. Yeah. yeah, I like man. his comment. That's Dan liking he, his comment. <laughs> he, uh, yeah. we talked about him getting nerfed a little bit because he can't push to a second click, which is a little sad. But um, yeah, that's definitely that's really cool. He's gonna be a what would he be a 13 for? So with power, he'd be 13 six. He'll be he'll then... be more because you don't forget you get screed to perplex up attack. Yeah. Maybe. Right. Well, I'm just saying just base. Just base, right? right. <laughs> yeah, 13 so, for 6 base, and then the ego. And then ego, and then soul would give him the, the plus defense and healing ability if he wanted it. But by that uh, point, you would have lost due to mission points. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> oh. uh, what else you got, another, Tyler? Another good figure I liked was the um, 85 point chase Black Panther from, I think, APBI, is that right? Uh, um, the, yes, the yes. <clears throat> uh, so if you couple with him, he has hypersonic. He's going to be a 13 for 5 hypersonic. Um, and then he always just has 19 super senses and the, the super stealth. So he's just really tough to deal with. And he's going to be hitting like a truck with 13 for 5. Um, what was another one? Hold on. Um, the, the rest aren't really the power gem. The power gem is just good on a lot of people. Um, the super rare Doc Ock, the Gunslinger one, got better because it says range combat expert. If he uses it and hits with an attack that's lower than a six, he gets to attack again. Um, so he can just attack, attack, attack with range combat expert. Um, Weapon H, his 75 point line, has charged flurry close combat expert. So he's swinging for a 12 for four instead. Um, you can equip Power Gem to Eddie Guerrero for his triple flurry, 12 for five. Um, Oh man, Dan, that's that's bringing back some ro- that rock up, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anybody that has a pick a power is better, also now, just because if you make powers combo easier, it's you know you can pick them more. Um, so Rune can start with the Infinity Gauntlet, and he starts with Charge, so you can just give him, you know. Uh, and then you've got the Infinity <laughs> Gem Bears. Astronomer obviously is the number one because right. he can twelve for five right out the gate is really good. Yeah. Um, the, the just the other thing to keep in mind is that if we're assuming that rotation is how it is, then we lose the power gem this year very quickly after May. Yes, that's so sad. I'm so excited about this. Yeah. Um, right, but but for us right here on the podcast, at least we are excited about Mighty Age too. True. Yeah. Um, so. Uncommon Wolverine um, is also a good one because which set the House of X the okay. tier zero four um, so he'll be a twelve for five with the power gem um, and he has charge flurry and he can also be TK'd with the fastball special card to charge again so he can attack four times twelve for five uh, I'm sure there's other stuff out there I'm just so excited about this <laughs> like it's so cool how many cool different things wow. there. Are. Not to rain on your parade, Tyler, for Eddie, but Spencer White brings up his power does say his maximum damage value is three. Fine. 
All right, just ruin my day. That's fine. Whatever. There goes <laughs> there goes your three Eddie Guerrero team that you're gonna yep, bring out with goes. Waldo. Um, Doppelganger is insane with um, Power Gem. He's, he'll be a 13 for five. He can attack like four times a turn because apparently he's good. Yeah. So um, basically, what we're trying to say is just Power Gem is now <laughs> a top five object. It was borderline top ten maybe because there's just a lot of good objects. It had its place, but now it's like, hey, where can I try to fit this in? As opposed to, uh, this person needs a little bit more damage. <laughs> I'll just I'll play it, or I'm playing Ultra Chase Thanos, where I could just add another one on there, or the the bearers where they just come with one. Now it's like, hey, how can I actively add this to my team because it's just really good. Yeah. Um. The only other sort of consequence of this that we we talked about. Um, is that it is it is harder to deal damage now. Um, so if if you were if if you have, are relying on a deep dial, it, it's gotten a little better now. So things like uh, the two that come to mind are Prime Vulcan and Omega, right? Um, yep. It's it's harder to burn through that. It's a lot harder without being able to to modify damage as easily with Perplex. Yep. Um, so you gotta you gotta be aware of that. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, um, I'll answer my question from Jay Sanzen. Go for it. Do the changes to Perplex make you less likely to play Uni Mind and Mighty Age games? Um. So, uh, Connor answered at sad times. You got a huge buff with the willpower change that immediately followed by a hard nerf. Uh, that is incorrect, Connor. Um, <laughs> so all of these changes, right? Um, lead to Uni being played probably the way he should be. So at 150, he's now 11, 12, 12 5 while he's punching mm -hmm. uh, with Close Combat Expert. And with the Perplex, he's now 14, 5, 20 while he's punching. So instead of going big at 150, with the 13-6, which is great, right? Now maybe you find some cosmic enhancers to do the thing, but you're always forcing yourself, uh, for the vast majority of the time, you might do ranger movement occasionally, uh, but for the vast majority of the time, you're putting that perplex into your defense mm -hmm. to keep to keep the uni boy alive. Um, so... You know what? I like it, right? Like I stopped playing a um, a prob. Um, I stopped playing a prob eternal, so that I was forced to either pick stealth or super senses. So now the perplex change keeps me having to be on shape change, senses or stealth, and a twenty defense. So that eight, that eight, yeah, e. Harder to beat, big man. Yeah, Brad brought Connor into the the stream. So, Connor, Dan was saying you're wrong about Unimine. And he explained it. <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, not, it's, it's, probably, it, it, it's probably sad for him at 300 in a 300 game. Yeah. Because he, he would go attack, damage, defense. Um, but uh, in general, right, now you just do attack defense defense and then you're good to go yep all right so to round this out because we're going over an hour now um so we answered questions we've been kind of answering them as we've been going anyway uh tomorrow we know it's going to be something about theme teams because they allude to that near the end oh, so I didn't even see that. <laughs> yeah they said uh come back uh next time for talking about theme teams or something like that um so I'm excited to see what they do with that. Um, theme teams. I feel like, you know, we had the big theme team change a couple years ago in 2018 or 2017. They really wanted to emphasize theme teams. And I feel like theme teams have just gotten a little out of control. And they really want to make this game a little bit more pro approachable. So I'm hoping they do something to either cap it or something i feel like capping is what they need to do because it just gets disappointing I, like i feel like their ultimate goal is 
we want team building to be fun. And so if I'm forced to put Perplex on my team, if I'm forced to have my theme team super high in order to be being able to play my team, that's not good. So I'm ho I can't wait to see. I mean, if they don't do anything with theme team, okay. I mean, if they're writing an article, I assume they're doing something <laughs> major. <laughs> so I'm, I'm eager to see what they do with it because that's another avenue that I hadn't really thought about like Perplex, but... I'm like, oh, if they're gonna change theme teams, man, what are they gonna, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna make more so, theme keywords? Like, are they gonna announce a bunch of new keywords? So I think the I think the only thing for me, right, is, and we'll find out in less than I don't know, 24 hours, is that theme teams are basically unlimited now. They're gonna do something to limit them. Simple as that. We'll find out the details here soon. Or they make theme team props unlimited. We go the opposite direction, boys. I, as an avid theme team, um, I would say user. Some would say abuser. Um, <laughs> I, for, for over a year, I've been saying they should cap it to five. It just makes sense because that's what the theme teams are, are capped at. So it's that that's always just been the change that makes the most sense to me. Maybe they'll do something to address um, uh, first player. First player not getting as many advantages. Um, I know people have talked about that as well. So that could be something to first look player? out for. Yeah, first player. So first player gets to pick, um, go first and pick the map. Some people have said, you know, they shouldn't get to pick both. They should get to pick which one they get to pick. Oh, well, you said not having as much advantages. Oh, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> they get too much. I was advantage. like, they get, they're great. I hope yeah. they don't get a bigger buff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it could be they do something with map because you know they're saying, hold on, we'll announce stuff about hindering and all of that stuff. So maybe they're. Being like, hey, we're right yeah, we're changing how maps work now. So there's a there's a lot more to come. <laughs> so I'm excited. Hold man. on to your pants. Like it's that we are not we are not done. Yeah, they get what we got over the weekend to get the Scott Porter videos going this week and rules updates. It's like like my Crazy. work day. I, it's like, hey guys, I gotta go take a break because I have I mind, too. <laughs> my mind is swarming. Man, but, I had a. I had a two-hour Zoom meeting today, and I got, like, ten words of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's wrap this up. We've been going a while. Thank you guys for watching. Dan, do you want to lead us out? Do you want to do final thoughts? Or are we good? I think we've... Uh, I'll I can just go ahead and lead us out, right? Because I just want to mention Jay Sands, and thanks for asking questions. Eric Adams, George Ong. Uh, we think we addressed everything. Uh, Jay, we'll talk about Wonder Woman more extensively as we know more. Um, and then I think, you know, as we see Fantastic Foundation, we'll be applying the filter of new rules um, for the future foundation. So um, hopefully we get to see all that soon. Hey, big, exciting day. More to come this week. I'm glad they got the snowstorm out of the way in Jersey. Thanks, everybody, for listening to Click Stuff. We'll talk to you all soon. See ya. Yeah.